If you are a vegetarian, do not watch this. <laughs> Don't do it. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with Ange. It's my mom. <laughs> We're at Zares and we are going to be getting some stuff for dinner. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys like a typical authentic Italian dinner. So come along with us and we will show you. What are we getting first? So we're gonna get lasagna noodles. What kind of lasagna noodles do you normally go to? Like what's your favorite brand if somebody wanted to cook nice Italian lasagna? Then you go to the bakery. You go to the Italian bakery. You go to the Italian bakery and you buy the fresh lasagna noodles. Lasagna sheets. Uh, oh, she said it, guys. Listen to her. Always listen to Ange. She knows what she's talking about. <laughs> so we're all so we're gonna be making lasagna and chicken parmesan, right? Fun. What do you do? You just you bread it and then you put mozzarella and then parmesan, right? No, parmesan in the breadcrumbs. And we don't need to buy tomato sauce because we already obviously have homemade tomato sauce at our house. In September, we do tomato sauce. We jar, we jar tomatoes, yes, thank you, and we'll Also um, do a vlog then as well, so you guys can see the process. All Italians do it. Like if you come from an Italian household, you do tomatoes in September, right? Because that's when like it's, the tomatoes are in season, right? I know it. Oh, we're just getting some Lysol wipes because you know, this COVID. Are you making meat sauce or no? No. Is meat sauce like authentically Italian? Yes, it is. It is, okay, well, there you go. Ange said it, if Ange says it, it's true. Personally, I'm not a fan of I know you're not. Ange doesn't like meat sauce. I love meat sauce, so is my brother. We're just gonna go get some chicken for our chicken from Mijana. We need to get bananas for Romeo. Oh yeah. Romeo loves bananas. Bananas are like his thing right now. Well, they're his only thing, cause and milk. <laughs> so, why can't we get him watermelon? I got kiwi. Mm. No. Okay. What about melon? No. What? Let me tell you guys something, okay? When a nonna thinks something is right, they're right. For avocado, I give him avocado. Yeah. She's shaking her head. No, I can give him avocado. I I already know I can. I don't think why not? I don't know. See what I mean? <laughs> so we just walked out of Zares and the first thing I see is so many masks on the ground. I'm gonna tell you right now, stop throwing your masks on the ground. That's right, don't do it. Just don't do it. Like, what's the point? There's a garbage can. Take your cart to the cart thing because stop being lazy. Stop leaving your carts in parking spots. <laughs> so we got all of our stuff that we need. Um, so we're gonna be cooking tomorrow. You don't wanna miss this. You wanna make a nice meal for your man or your family. This is the one. Okay guys, so this is my mom's homemade tomato sauce. This is just like pure tomatoes and basil, the best tomato sauce in the entire world. Okay, so Ann is preparing the chicken. For the chicken cutting cutting the chicken in half. Thick pieces. I'm using gloves and pasta wrap to protect from salmonella. <laughs> oh my god, I wish you could smell this sauce. Oh. You said to get a couple pairs. Some two pairs. Okay, yeah. well, I'll go get you more. Grab a Okay. If you are a vegetarian, do not watch this. <laughs> Don't do it. So. To get my crumbs? Pounder. Oh, pounder. Okay, so we have some eggs, our egg wash. We're gonna beat them. And we've already salted and peppered our eggs. 
Just salt and pepper, right? And the eggs? Salt and pepper. Season everything you use. This is the Italian breadcrumb seasoning and it has Parmesan cheese in it. Our oil is on. It's getting hot. I'm not using any flour. Some people use flour and then put it in the breadcrumbs. The egg, flour, egg, breadcrumbs. We just do it this way. He's making himself heard. I'm here. Yeah. What are you doing? See, he's not really crying. He's just yelling. Look, Wanda. What? 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 So, when they're ready to turn, you'll know because the sides will start to get brown. Look, almost ready to turn. See this? It's nice and brown. Oh, yeah, side. crispy. Turn it around. Oh my god, look at all. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. Okay, there's those two, and then we are all done with the chicken. It doesn't take long. Then we will. Add some fresh sauce, some fresh mozzarella cheese, mm -hmm. put it in the oven, just to melt the cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Just gonna put in a pan. Some of the same sauce, sit on top like that. Some people like to put it in an actual, you know, deep dish. I just like, you know, just a little bit of sauce. It doesn't stay in the oven for very long anyway. Yeah. So they're already cooked. Yeah, yep. And then we're gonna add mozzarella and stick it in the oven. Okay. And then it'll take maybe five, seven minutes. Okay. The mozzarella will be nice and gooey and we'll take it out. Okay. And that's it. And that's it. This is the pasta that we picked up yesterday and we are getting ready to make it a lasagna. So we have mozzarella and parmigiano and sauce. Okay, so we've already put a little bit of ham <laughs> on the bottom of the, the uh, lasagna pan here so that the lasagna doesn't stick. I like to put a little bit of sauce underneath it. And then we're going to start with our layers. Okay. So that's a layer. And tomato sauce. And remember these are non, you don't have to cook these noodles. You don't have to boil them. Bolognese sauce, just meat, prefer not. I told my kidding, I don't cook for me, I can cook for else. Special thanks to Ange for cooking this meal. Guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.